Good evening. I'm Susan and I'll be leading us in evening prayers today. Um, if you need the service sheet, then just go to deadermanardleyparishes.org.uk and on the homepage look for service resources and go down the list and look for an order for night prayer. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Now I don't know what your day's been like today, but let's just take a few minutes of silence to reflect on it and just be prepared to call ourselves out on some of the things that we might want to ask God's forgiveness for. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In Psalm 4 we read, Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will your nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only, who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So this evening we're going to be looking at Psalm 136. Now this is a long psalm, so I'm not going to read it all, but if you've got your Bibles open, you will notice that every line is interspersed with this wonderful declaration that his love endures forever. And this, star, this psalm is really trying to remind God's people of that love that endures through every single circumstances of our lives. We don't have to know that God is loving us when we're happy and where things are going our way. We need to know God's love in the middle of difficult circumstances. We need to know that he loves us when we don't feel that he loves us, when we can't see him, when we can't connect with him. We need to stand on that rock that says that he is our God, he is our loving Heavenly Father. He will never leave us or forsake us. And so what the psalmist does is he makes great statements and I'm going to read the first few and then uh, some at the end but I'll tell you what happens in between so it'd be really good if you're looking at it with me so it begins Psalm 136 give thanks to the Lord for he is good his love endures forever give thanks to the God of gods his love 
endures forever. And give thanks to the Lord of Lords. His love endures forever. And so the psalmist has set the King of Kings and Lord of Lords in his rightful place. And then he goes on in verses four to nine to, to really praise him as creator God and talks about the wonders that he's done, that he's made.
far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels be with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessings be always upon us. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watchman looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us his peace. Amen. So thank you for joining me for evening prayers. I hope it's been a blessing to you and that you'll rest this evening in his loving care and have a good night's sleep and be ready for tomorrow. God bless you. <laughs>